Hey YouTubers, this is Benny Fox 007 coming right at you. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Charlie Chill, um, uh, kid behind the camera's, uh, brother. Um, uh, uh, he released a video yesterday called I Fucked Up. I uh, watched it. Uh, this is, let me give you the, uh, backbone of the story the best way I can. Um, to some of you, uh, fans of mine and uh, Kid Behind the Camera fans, uh, uh, you may have already heard this, uh, especially you guys who are subscribed to Charlie Chill's channel. Um, what happened was he uh, he said he partied too much and he got a little out of control. Uh, he didn't lie about that, but um, he's denying that he hit Bridget West, but you know what, I believe he did because he was under some type of influence of of a substance. Um, I think kid behind the camera said something about acid. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's PCP or something. He was high off of something because they said he was running around by the pool house or by the pool butt-ass naked or something. So, you guys, um, I wouldn't be believing everything he says. Uh, apparently he's not in jail anymore. Apparently he's still uploading videos. He put one out today, uh, which I have not yet seen. It's called uh, Broken Tw uh, Broken Trust Lost Dreams. Uh, I'm going to be watching that here probably in the next few hours, and I'll probably do a reaction video on it, And uh, which means I won't be watching the video, but I'll kind of tell you guys what I think about the video because uh, I don't want to use anybody's content on my channel I know a lot of people do when they do reaction videos but I don't know how sketchy that is and uh, what the copyright things are on it I know you, you could use somebody's content for criticism um, and uh, discussion and stuff like that but I'm not going to take a chance but um, back to the point um, I think you Charlie Chill fans need to know that I think he's trying to cover his ass for the mistakes that he made against his own family. Uh, you guys should not be condoning him um, as a YouTuber because of what he did to Bridget. Um, apparently he punched Bridget and I think he did something to her again the second time and uh, that's what really got me going, got me enraged right now, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but, uh, my opinion, a man should not ever hit a woman, uh, at all, no matter whether you're, you are under a disagreement or whatever, but this is not to do with him being in disagreement of Bridget, he came at her for some obvious odd reason, I don't understand, but, <laughs> But I think it's uh, not right if we stay subscribed to his channel because I feel that we are supporting what he's doing. Uh, he's trying to cover his ass saying he didn't do it. But, you know, it, uh, he could do what he wants. But I don't really believe because... Uh, okay. Um, I don't understand. Um, again, um, I don't agree with what he's doing. Uh, he's trying to make himself look good right now, saying that he made a mistake, which that video um, is probably the best thing he could do right now, is to, to tell you guys that he made a big mistake, which yes he did, but at the end to deny that he laid his hand on Bridget, um, I think it's a bunch of bullshit, because uh, the kid behind the camera said that he actually laid his hands on her, and uh, he showed the mark that she had on her eyes right there and you guys can clearly see in that video clip that he did in his vlog that she does have a mark like right in here so you guys cannot say that that Charlie or this man uh, laid his hands on her at all um my opinion uh, you have no right being a youtuber if you're going to do that and try to go in front of a couple thousand or if not a hundred thousand subscribers and and be putting yourself on camera and presenting yourself as a good person if you do that stuff. Um, and I see some of you subscribers have unsubbed. I guess he was at 100,000 subs now. Last time I checked, he was at 88,000 something subscribers.
subscribers. So people have left his uh, YouTube page. People have turned their backs on because they realize what kind of a character this this person is. Yeah, he might be from the Green family. He might be related to uh, um, Michael Green, and he he may know Angry Grandpa and stuff like that. But you know. When you're behind the camera, you're a totally different person. I mean, right now I'm talking to you guys straight up, real, not fake. But when he's in front of the camera, he comes off as a character, okay? He's putting on a different persona. He's putting on that drama mask. You know, you guys see the mask, the smiley face, and the frown. That's what he's doing in front of us subscribers, trying to fool us that he ain't a bad person but really he was when we heard what happened on the uh, get behind the camera side of it uh, it's it pretty bad he was crazy and he showed a clip where he was being wheeled out on a stretcher to the ambulance and being hauled off to the hospital because he was getting out of control apparently he tried to burn his finger on some flame or something but you guys don't need to be looking up to people like this at all, and especially don't do drugs, don't be drinking. I don't know how many times uh, schools have to get that cross, how many times the parents have to tell you how bad it is. Uh, you know, um, I thought Charlie Chill was a damn good guy. I thought he was a, going to become a decent YouTuber. I thought he was going to be something that, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you can watch do challenges. He did a few challenges. I watched his uh, banana sprite challenge a couple of days ago. Him and uh, and uh, Michael Green were having a good time. He was throwing up, of course, but he was having a good time. And now all this drama, this fucking YouTube drama shit. I don't know what it is. Um, um, they said they're going to try to keep it in the family, and unfortunately it got out in the open, and now we know about it. And it's a good thing we do because now we have to make a decision. Do we stay on? Do we stay as a subscriber on this channel or should we leave? And from what I heard, I think I'm going to be turned away. I'm not going to be subbed to somebody that's going to be a violent former criminal or somebody who's been in trouble with the law before and willing to uh, get himself tased because he don't want to do something that he's supposed to do. See that guy. Uh, that 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 man reminds me of a combative su of a suspect who is very combative, who don't want to be messed with, with the officers and will do anything and don't care about getting tased. He's willing to resist arrest to prove his fucking point, and you know, and he's just going to dig himself a bigger hole when he does that. And you guys don't know when you resist arrest, you accumulate more charges, whether the misdemeanors or felonies. When it becomes an officer, I don't know, but. He's not no role model, is what I'm trying to say. He's not no role model. He's not somebody to be looking up to at all. And I found that out very quick within the last two or three days. Like, what the hell is going on? When I seen that pornography being up on his channel, I was like, something, something's not right, something's iffy. Uh, either he got hacked or... or I, was, I was thinking that he was getting hacked because I was reading the comments and uh, they're saying somebody hacked his channel, putting that on there because, you know... People can hack your uh, YouTube channel and put videos up on your channel. They know what your login information is and stuff like that. They can easily put videos up on your channel. <clears throat> so that's another thing, you guys. Make sure you don't give nobody your email, Google login information uh, that knows you're doing YouTube videos because they can really mess you over and possibly ruin your... Uh, YouTube uh, career, so don't do anything I want to do. Always keep your uh, login information private. It's secure if you have to by using antivirus or something. But this is not the case. He was not hacked. He uploaded this content when apparently he was under the influence of some substance, uh, either acid, PCP, or some type of drug, or maybe he was just drunk oil. But, you know, I just hope YouTube took them videos down because that's not something to be putting up on this platform. Pornography is to be put on pornographic sites, not YouTube, period. Um, he did come out and say he, he made a mistake, but I think he's trying to deny some of the, some of the stuff he did, and I think that's wrong. Uh, I'm going to watch his other video again, 
and uh, see what he has to say for himself. Because right now he dug himself a pretty damn deep hole with the YouTube community and with us subscribers slash viewers. Uh, this guy did a very bad thing. He apparently also gave this kid uh, his ne uh, his nephew or something um, alcohol and, and and marijuana or something like that. So um, that's another thing that gets me too. Why would he be given allowing a kid to get a hold of a uh, alcohol drink and you know try to say the kid drunk it came in there and drunk it? No. <clears throat> Um, I don't think that would have happened. Um, but anyway, you guys, um, leave a comment down below to see and let me know what you think about my reaction to all this. Um, I think it's a, it's a little fucking crazy. Um, um, <clears throat> Charlie Chill didn't come up on the uh, Kid Behind the Camera channel until sometime last year uh, when he did this breaking out jail uh, thing on on Angry Ramble. So. Um, I don't know much about Charlie Chill. Uh, I just know he's part of the uh, Green family, and he and he used to be on the English Grandpa show and stuff like that. So, from the way things are looking, he comes off as not a very good person, and I could dare clearly see that now. So, just leave a comment down below on, on this video and uh, and let me know what you think. Give me your opinions, please, and. Uh, and give me a like on this video if you really enjoy it, and if you want to see more, please subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification uh, bell on the uh, side of the description on the bottom of this video now, and uh, if you want to see more content. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks again for watching, and please be safe this weekend, and be safe always, and don't do anything illegal or anything I would, I would not do myself. And just have yourselves a good day and good night. Benny Fox, the Rogue 7 out. Bye.